And a view of our wonderful Wednesday close of day ceremonies. Thanks to the sun in the sky and the high clouds drifting through a beautiful day. And thanks to this young fella, nine year old Mason for uh, creating this tornado and Judy for snapping a photo and sending our way. That looks like a fun weather project. How neat is that? Now let's talk about some weather that's going to impact our late week. First and foremost, we're talking about a storm system that'll move through and bring some impacts. And here are those gusty northwest winds for all of us throughout the day from Friday, actually from Thursday through Friday. Now we'll have some snow beginning late Thursday that will add up and impact that Friday morning commute and the Friday afternoon commute as well. So it will impact those drives It will also bring over four inches to a pretty good size area here in the valley. And uh, this track will change a little bit. We'll keep you up to date on that first alert weather day on Friday that we have declared. Now, some of the facts are Wednesday, beautiful weather. It continues throughout the day until the latter part of the day rain moves in. Those, that will usher in the change. It becomes snow at times for some on Thursday. It'll be a windy day and cooler, but still above average. And then late Thursday, the snow gets heavy by Friday morning. You'll definitely feel like winter has returned for many areas, but not all areas. And it appears models do agree on the magnitude of the snowfall potential, about four to six inches. Isolated places picking up more many of us picking up less. Here's Wednesday. European model says look out for the rain showers around drive time and after. Thursday, a little break in the system, but a brief break. A lot of wind and cooler temperatures in the 20s. Thursday night and all the way into Friday morning, the snow parks itself over the valley. And then by the time we get into our uh, Friday afternoon and Saturday morning, we're looking at, well, some measurable snow across much of the area, but the heaviest, heaviest from the Southern Valley into Lakes Country. The American model agrees with the placement of this heavier band, Southern Valley into Lakes Country, but has a little bit less snowfall. We'll keep you up to date with the latest again. We can't be too specific about snowfall content right now with this system, a lot can change. But for now, it's just making landfall in the Pacific Northwest for us. Clouds being thrown our way and the radar showing just a few hiccups on there. Like we talked about earlier in the early evening show, we could have some uh, light flurries of snow and even some sprinkles of drizzle out there to the east, excuse me, to the west in the James River Valley. 33 there now and look at Fargo, still over 30 degrees here. 30 in Bemidji as well on a very, very mild Tuesday night. Hector's numbers 31, it's 28 at Moorheads Airport and our wind is from the southwest blowing under 10 miles per hour. So our mild conditions continue. Can't rule out some patchy fog and an isolated drizzle drop or flurry overnight could make slippery sidewalks. Then as we head into our Wednesday midday, we rise from the 20s back into the 30s and 40s. Beautiful weather, sunshine aplenty as we go through the day, but look at what's heading our way. Nighttime, as we head toward the drive in the afternoon and evening, it looks like we'll have rain mixing with some sleet or grapple. I can't rule out a rumble of thunder with this system as it pushes its way through. That's the warm front with the cold front to follow and that will impact our Thursday. So your day on Wednesday will be wild, but very warm in the afternoon. And it's after we hit the 40 degrees with the light winds that things begin to change for your drive home. Watch this, the clouds move in for that drive and we'll have raindrops have fallen on our head and the windshield wipers may slap out a tempo, but then the snow shovels will have to follow suit as we go into Friday for some. Tomorrow afternoon, rain moving in from the west and the three o'clock hour. Temperatures near 40 for many in eastern North Dakota. Well, here is the truck that won't be driving too far in the snowbanks, but Clinton captured a beautiful shot in the Wapton area. Now, take a look at your planning forecast. Thursday, windy and cooler, snow showers, but then in late day, it gets heavy, impacting your day on Friday, and that's why it's a first alert weather day. After that, the weekend looks cooler, but quieter after a windy Saturday. And for Martin Luther King Day, it looks cool, but still seasonable, Andrea, for this time of the year. Okay, Hutch, thank you.